direction with the same three notes.
shaped something. Yes, you have a question? When did you like first realize you had to get Well, I, I, uh, I'm told I was about three or four and I'd go to the piano and start doing things. But when you, when you do something and it's natural, you don't know that it's a gift. You're just doing it, right? Uh, I, I knew uh, when I was uh, taken to Columbia when I was nine that it wasn't the usual thing to be examined by uh, the head of the music department at the Teachers College at Columbia. But still in all, um, honestly, uh, none of my friends did it, but I didn't know that there weren't a lot of people, you know, having similar things. And, and, and as I said, you know, I've been earning a living writing music for a very long time and, and playing and I've been a recording artist on major labels. And the fact that I could sit down and just do this, I thought, a lot of my colleagues could, but they can't, I guess. So, yes? What makes you realize that you feel it's a good enough piece? Because you're talking about how when you were doing like famous stuff, you said that you could have done it in two hours, but it would be seven. Right, right. Well, in that case, uh, we were, I, was, I was creating a, a, a score to a picture, and I would look at, you know, we'd play it back, and i think, oh, no, I got a better idea, you know, just, just a better idea. I mean, I just did a movie. Uh, where I actually was asked to do instant composition. It's a very, uh, there's, I think if you go to Vimeo, you can find the, tr it's, it's a promo for it. It's called Oki in the Middle of the Ocean, O-K-I. And it stars a Japanese actress uh, named Kaori Mori. She starred in Memoirs of a Geisha. And the filmmakers are from the... <laughs> Hello? Is there something that we all want to know? Well, it's a very interesting story. I'm on the Foreign Language Committee at the Motion Picture Academy. Uh, I think around 2007 or 8, I met some filmmakers from the Baltics. Um, we became friends. They came over to the house. There's a director, producer. They're married to each other and working together. Uh, I did the three-note thing. I recorded. They picked three notes. I, uh, I recorded a piece. Last fall, I get an email from them. They're coming to Los Angeles. They're shooting a movie. And they want me to be in the movie doing my instant composition. So they actually wrote me into the script and, and that I was doing musical therapy for this person. The lead character was having psychological issues and she would come to me and I would do these things and it would open her up. And she always picked the same three notes and I always did something different for the same three notes. So um, uh, they, they they came over to my home and we shot what, what is going to be the opening and closing of the movie. And the director liked the, 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 the piano stuff so much, he said, you know, I just want to score the rest of the film with solo piano. Would, would you do that? I looked at the film, I said, you know, you really might want to have a little more than piano. He says, no, let's just keep it pure. And that's what we did. And then he came back a few months later after the film was edited. And um, we, we did this the score mostly in about two, two, two days, which is an enormously fast, just uh, recording right to picture, but it was just sold me out, so it's it sort of manageable. Uh, yes? Was there ever a point in your life that you didn't want to do piano? That I, that I what? You didn't want to do piano. That I didn't want the piano? Yeah. I didn't want to do piano as a career. Ah. Uh, well, uh, since piano came very, yeah, you guys can sit down. <laughs> Although, I, I, you know, I like to have it, you know, surround, surround sounds, fans, but um, when I was in, uh, the piano always came very naturally to me, so I didn't think of it. When I was in high school, I, I picked up trumpet, I wanted to play with the, with the orchestras, and I got quite good. I was an all-state band, I grew up in New Jersey, and I, I played professionally uh, while I was going to school. Uh, first couple of years before I earned a living as a composer, I, I played in band, so... Sometimes I played trumpet, sometimes I played piano. Sometimes I was lucky enough to be in a band with a guy who, there wasn't one band I was in, he, the pianist played trumpet, I played both, so we would switch. That was, that was fun. But no, I love, love the piano. It's like an extension of, of I mean, honestly, I, for me, at the piano, it's as effortless as the, easier than speaking, actually. Yes? Uh, what would be a practical application to, um to uh, the composition, like the improvising well, instant composition. Well, let me, let me just tell you how I develop my technique uh, and how I develop my harmonic language. And I, I, 
as I look back, I see what I did. While I was doing it, I had no idea I was doing it. It was just intuitive and natural. But what I would do is, whatever I was weakest at, technically, I would incorporate that into whatever I played. So supposing I wanted to work on arpeggios, instead of just doing, you know, Simpsons and stuff. I started a lot of people's careers, I'm happy to tell you. But uh, I love orchestration. I just uh, finished two string orchestra pieces, which are being published by Peters, who publishes Bach and Mozart and Mahler and John Cage, and they're my publishers. They publish all my concert works. Um, yes, sir? What's your favorite type of music? My favorite type of music is emotionally connected music. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Anything, as long as it connects with you. If it doesn't connect with you, you know, not everything connects with everybody. But I've lived through a period of seeing great experimentation and esoterica, most of which has completely disappeared and will probably never come back, including a lot of things that I experienced when I was a student in the late 60s, when the New York Philharmonic did its new, its new music stuff. And uh, I was, I actually got my bachelor's degree in, in music composition at Manhattan School of Music, and at that point we were affiliated with Columbia and Princeton, and Milton Babbitt used to come up, and Otto Looning, and I was exposed to everything. And, um, you know, I mean, where, where are a lot of these people today? I don't know. But it all serves a purpose to get you, I mean, the fact is we're completely liberated, anything goes, we can use any techniques, there are no rules, Except at the end of the day, if you don't communicate with another human being, if you don't touch their soul, you have not succeeded as an artist. History proves that. It's not my opinion. Yes? How many hours a day do you practice? Not much. <laughs> I never play as well as I think I should. I have, uh, out of 40 albums, I have four instant composition albums, by the way, which you can all download after the class. Money <laughs> from your favorite place. Uh, two are solo piano, one is piano and vibes, and one is an incredible, really incredible album, piano and tenor saxophone, with a, which I did with a, a good friend named Jim DePasquale, and he's also a composer, and we actually have transcribed some of the stuff on the album, and it'll be made available 
But it, it, what's really amazing about this album is that it was recorded in real time, and their compositions, their their contemporary, I mean, their their contemporary classical improvised composition. I mean, it's new music uh, that was just done, and the ideas are tossed back and forth between us. It's amazing. You have to. It's called In the Moment, and you can listen for free on MySpace. Yes. Hi. Um, <laughs> uh, so. Um, for a melody instrument or like a single note instrument, mm -hmm. um, how would you say that? Like, in what do you play? Well, I play flute and I'm learning trumpet. Okay, are you good? <coughs> I think I'm decent. Enough you have here. your flute here? Yeah. Bring it out. Hey. Why are you getting it out? What's your question? Uh, I was wondering, like, like, what do you think is the difference? Between like just an instant composition and just like improvisation. Well, as I said, instant composition is improvised composition. But the reason I use the term instant composition as opposed to improvised composition is because the word improvised is so ingrained in everybody's head with 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 jazz. Or, even in, in, in the Baroque period, there was improvisation over figured bass. Uh, court, you know, like jazz today. But that is improvisation around an already existing structure and composition. And what I'm doing is not starting by playing around with something that already exists. That's the difference. Come on up, let's see what happens. What's your name? Uh, Benjamin. Benjamin? Oh, yeah. Hey, Ben. Where are you from? What's your favorite key? Um, sharp. E sharp. I modulate a lot, so. Did you probably G minor? Okay, we can start with G minor. Okay, so you listen to me and I'll listen to you. If you come up with a motive, I'll carry it. And, and listen to what I do. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is the Ben and Bill show now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh... <laughs>
Chris. I don't know about the girl in the exorcist. My head doesn't go all the way around. So what do we have to say for ourselves today?